My name is Modupe Labodi. I am a curator of African American social justice history at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. This cash register is held at the National Museum of American History, and for today's audiences, it looks amazingly ornate. It is bronze, it has decorations in it, and it also has marble. But what might stick out the most is the N.H. Burroughs, which indicates that it was for Nanny Helen Burroughs. Nanny Helen Burroughs was an extraordinary woman. She was an African-American educator and activist. She established the National Training School for Women and Girls in 1909 in Southeast Washington, D.C. This was a school that was, in her words, dedicated to pursuing the holy impossible. And by that, she meant that society at large often denigrated or had low expectations of black women and girls. She was determined that black women should strive for their dignity. So she used the power of her organization in the church and also her school to train women to take their role as proud wage earners, whether they were working as a domestic servant or as a bookkeeper. She kept this her entire life, and it was donated to the museum by women associated with this school. As I've learned more about Nanny Helen Burroughs, I've been inspired by the possibilities that she found in the work for and with black people and in the assertion of their rights as U.S. citizens. She believed it was much more important for people to stand together than to stand individually.